Well, I'll answer that in two ways. One, in my private practice, I incorporate a lot. I've been meditating in the Zen tradition for over 20 years now. So that, just the, the meditation and mindfulness and those kind of constructs are brought in all the time. And then I think also just as a therapist who, or a person who has you know, done that practice and other practices like it for as long as I have, it then becomes part of the way that I relate to the client. So I think that that's you know, just sort of an automatic. Um, another, another thing, I guess, um, in my private practice is that I always have a great spirit of curiosity about all the different aspects of wellness in a person's life. So I'm listening for keywords and I'm listening to, to kind of see if, I'm, if, if the thing that I'm missing is, oh, they're like letting that go. Um, you know, what resource can we bring in, or maybe there's a resource we can bring in right there in the therapy, what outside resource can I help them with? Then when it comes to the answer to that question in terms of 180 Center, um, it's basically that's, that's our focus, and that's a big part of my job is to, is to uh, work with our wellness director to find every single resource that's out there that could potentially help a client. We had a speaker today, uh, Dr. I think it was Dr. Fong, who talked about, um, you know, he was talking about it in terms of medications, but he was also talking about it in terms of all the modalities that you might use, like looking for the thing that will open the window for that particular person. So if you have, and I talk a lot about this with my, uh, I run a group here on anger management, and I talk about anger management is not a cookie cutter thing. It, you know, what's going to be a cure for you is going to be poison for the other person. So really understanding what that person is bringing to the table and what might represent an increase in wellness for them. And so I basically um, could say that I bring the kitchen sink <laughs> to, you know, to what the work with clients and patients here. We bring the kitchen sink, not that we throw the kitchen sink at them, we have it there available. And we listen carefully. When I say we, I don't mean the royal we, I mean we as a staff. We listen to the client and then try to guide them to what might you know, help them. And that could be anything from spiritually based wellness to nutritional to, um, to the, the related to exercise, mind, body, mind, body, spirit, you know, so.